Well, it's been a while since we've worked on the old Firebird, the Dirty Bird, AKA. Uh, but we're going to get back onto it now. We've been uh, busy concentrating on other things like the Harley, getting it ready for AZ Bike Week, which if you go to our Random Life videos, you'll see uh, all the different things that we covered during Cave Creek Bike Week and AZ Bike Week. We have them up. But we're going to get back to the, uh, the old uh, Dirty Bird here. And I don't know how many of you have had gap issues with cars, uh, fenders and doors and so forth. Uh, when you have a car that's you know 40, 50, 60 years old, it's had a long life, you have, you have gap issues. And they didn't have the best gaps set back in the day when the cars came out of the factory. So I'm gonna show you something you can do here that takes a little bit of time to do. It's not super, super hard, it's just time consuming. And you can take up the gaps on your car, make up, uh, I'm going to show you something here you can do with this little piece of metal here. This, you can get it right down at Home Depot. You can do it and you can make up some of the gap issues on your car to where <clears throat> it's not as noticeable. I went around, I'm doing this 68 Bird, and I went around some different uh, car shows and so forth and I saw other 68s and I see that there's an issue with these cars with the gaps. So I'm going to try to make this as close as possible as I can using this little bit of wire and I'll show you the technique and uh, if you can work a welder and do a little body work you can do this and make your car look uh, a lot better when it's all finished so we're going to bring it to you so enjoy okay now what we're going to do is we have to <clears throat> we got to tack this wire on right here right along this edge here so we're going to tack it along here to give us a little bit more metal to take up that gap and we can shape it after we get it in there As you can see here, we need to mold this along this body line here. So this is where a little bit of your body work, midship, comes in handy. So you can get this to follow this curvature of the body. Keep working it, working it down, doing the same thing. And you just keep working it on down, just keep going down, 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 down so you can take up that gap. Gets a little tricky on the corners here. You gotta make that radius.
Just keep working it, just keep working it as you go down. I know it looks a little globby, but that's all going to be ground down. I didn't say I was the best welder in the world. <laughs> and as you can see, that's how you can take a gap up on a fender between a door and a fender on some of the, sorry my nose run, on some of these older cars. You just keep working it. If you need to add a little bit more at the top, you just keep working it and working it in. That way you have a base to do your body work. You never want to take a Bondo or body mold and make your edge out of Bondo. You're just looking for trouble. You want to have a metal edge there for your body work. So the next step on this would be to grind it down, grind it smooth, grind it so where you can have a nice body line there and uh, then start start on your, uh, your prep for your fender for paint. But that's a little trick to take up some body gap and it's really easy. Let's go down to Home Depot, buy a little uh, piece of the, uh, of the round stock and just start working it in your fender just like I did. You don't have to be an expert welder, which you can see I'm not. And uh, you don't have to be an expert body man, which I'm not. But if you have the basic knowledge, you can do it. So that's our tip for you from Random Life on the 68 Dirty Bird, AKA. And we'll be back with other stuff when we get farther along with the car. We'll show you when we get it ready for uh, prep to paint the rest of the body, get the hood and the fenders done. We have a little bit of body work to do on that. Then we're going to start on the interior. We're going to actually we're going to pull the glass off the windshield. We got a little bit of work to do on the dash, and start on the interior. Then we're going to rewire the whole car. Uh, we've got a whole brand new uh, wiring harness from Painless, so hopefully it will be painless. And that's a little quick tip from Random Life Garage. Out for now. <laughs>